The Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the University of Vermont and Fletcher Allen Healthcare is committed to excellence in teaching, research, service and the practice of clinical and anatomic pathology. They integrate academic medicine into patient care and the education of future healthcare providers. Pathology is one of the departments that makes the bridge from the laboratory to the clinic and takes that knowledge we've developed in the laboratory and applies it to patient care. Comprised of 30 MD and MD PhDs, as well as 13 PhDs, the department is responsible for all clinical and diagnostic tests, performing over 3 million every year. Our research efforts are focused on three areas. The first area is cardiovascular pathology, comprised of molecular and genetic epidemiology, and interested in the influence of inflammation and hemostasis on arterial and venous disease. The second area is environmental pathology. This area is supported by an NIEH training grant in environmental pathology and focuses on environmental carcinogenesis. The third area is our division of experimental pathology. This group is focused on translational research using human tissues and is driven by our clinical and basic science expertise. The translation department, that's one of the areas we think is most important for the future of research and really the, the federal government thinks that as well. The National Institutes of Health, which provides the funding for research, is really looking at applying all the knowledge we've developed in basic science in the laboratory to actually caring for patients and pathology is right in the center of that translation. The areas of research in the environmental pathology program that collaborative faculty work on are one, DNA damage and repair. This is important because it's a fundamental mechanism of action of a number of environmental carcinogens. And the second area that most investigators are working on are what's called cell signaling. What cell signaling means is that we are looking at pathways stimulated at the cell surface or intracellularly that are not associated with DNA except they send signals to DNA. As a center of research, the department has built a state-of-the-art freezer farm containing over three million blood samples from tens of thousands of epidemiological and clinical studies, creating a major national and international resource. In cardiovascular research within the Department of Pathology here at the University of Vermont, we focus uh, predominantly on epidemiology which is the study of populations of people. We also have programs in basic science, one around animal models of heart disease, particularly mouse models, and another around basic structure issues around biomarkers as they appear in blood. The epidemiology we do is what's called molecular epidemiology. And what that means is we make measurements in blood samples from large populations of people and try and understand what those levels mean for the future prediction of diseases like heart attacks and heart failure. We also do genetic epidemiology. In many of these people, we have isolated DNA from their blood, so we can study differences in DNA among those folks and to see whether those differences have anything to do with the occurrence of disease later on. We have recently completed a large study of about a thousand people making very difficult measurements by flow cytometry of T-cell helper subsets and have found uh, some evidence we haven't even published yet, but it's in the works that in fact certain subsets of T-helper cells in human beings are risk markers and predictors of the future occurrence of heart disease. That then creates a potential target for intervention studies that is translational research. The Experimental Pathology Division was created and established in 1999 with the sole purpose of targeting academic pathologists, residents and medical students to give them an opportunity to do research in a laboratory setting. The main focus is to attract faculty and residents to engage in projects which are clinically based research answering practical questions in their daily activities and to bring this into the laboratory, what's known as translational research, otherwise taking questions from the bedside into the laboratory and then to benefit patients. These are projects which have a hypothesis-based 
the object is for them to then present these at national meetings. The future research efforts of the department will capitalize on our basic science and clinical expertise to foster translational research with the ultimate goal of improving the health of our patients.